Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from Universal's Aventura Hotel. So we decided to book a last minute Universal staycation for this evening. And I can't tell you guys enough. I absolutely love staying here at this hotel. The value is great. You can walk to Volcano Bay. You have shuttle transportation to City Walk. I love the area. But tomorrow we are heading over to Volcano Bay. But tonight it's all about the Aventura Hotel. I'm going to be giving you guys a full resort and room tour. Plus, we are going to be eating dinner right up there at the rooftop bar, a place I've always wanted to check out. And today's the day. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. All right, I'm right outside of the main lobby, which is right here. You have Cabana Bay all right here we can kind of see jurassic park river adventure right there you have lowe's sapphire falls resort you have the parking garage here and then right there as well that's where you will be picked up on the shuttle and the shuttle will take you over to city walk and then right here is the main lobby as we see a mirrors coach dropping people off also they do offer 15 minute parking right here that way you can check in and then go to the parking garage. I do wanna point out, by staying here, you do have access to just walk to both Universal theme parks. You're able to walk to City Walk and you're able to walk over to Volcano Bay, which is such a convenience by staying here. But then if you wanna hop on the boats to take you over to City Walk, you can actually just walk over to Sapphire Falls right there and then hop on the boat transportation. And if you do have your own car, parking per night is $18. All right, I am now heading inside. Oh yes, look at this. It's very sleek. I love how open this resort is. Now that we have made it in, this is where you will check in. And then they have luggage service right there. And then vacation planning. So if you need to pick up your tickets or have any questions, you'll head right there. Looks like when you're ready to check out, you can just text them and then they also have express checkout. They do offer luggage carts as well. Since we are heading over to Volcano Bay tomorrow, I do wanna point this out. This is like a little kiosk, just specifically to Volcano Bay. So if you need to, I guess if you wanna know where everything is beforehand, you can come here. It's touchscreen and interactive. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Yeah, just a little no before you go. Okay, just a quick recap. You have the main entrance right there, check in. And over here, you can find a Universal Studios store, which is very convenient. We will have a look in here in just a little bit. Then right here, you have the elevators to guest parking, which is the parking garage. Looks like you can find restrooms, an ATM, and looks like you can rent a car here. Here's the hours. That's a nice touch to have. Oh, and you can print your boarding passes right here. They have a printer, two touch screens. I love this. Universal is making everything easy for their guests. We are now inside of the Universal Studios store and it looks just like a typical Universal gift shop with a little bit of everything. You have your standard UO merch, of course, you have all of the Harry Potter merchandise that you can buy, pins, mask, some treats, universal gift cards, chocolate, lanyards. You have sun hats, more pins, more universal merchandise. I like this photo frame. And if you need any kind of bathing suit or swim trunks, they have you covered. They have cooling towels, more hats. Oh, they sell Quicksilver merchandise in here. Flip-flops. If you need anything last minute, they have you covered. Safety pins, baby soap, diapers, sunscreen, tied to go, super glue, a wine corkscrew opener. And over here you have your medicine, toothbrushes, toothpaste, razors, makeup remover, 
everything you need. Laundry soap. They offer a fitting room, which is open. Looks like they have you covered if you are heading over to Volcano Bay or just want to hang out here at the resort pool, which is very nice. I can't wait to show you guys. They have some games to play just in case the kiddos need something to do. I did just speak with such an amazing team member here. She gave me a lot of knowledge. So if you buy something at any universal store, if you don't want to carry it, you can also send it back to your hotel or send it up to the front of the park. But if you buy something and you really just don't want to carry it around, like if it's breakable or expensive, you can send it home domestic and international. So keep that in mind. Of course, international is going to be a lot more, but shipping in the United States, as she told me, it starts as little as $5. So that's something you may want to keep in mind. Also, if you buy something at Universal, if you change your mind last minute at the airport, you can take it to the Universal Studio store inside MCO and exchange it. I was just given this card by a team member. And basically, if you have any issues with shipping through Universal, so if you like buy something here and send it home and it comes damaged, just call this number and they'll take care of you. Okay, we just left the Universal Studio store. Again, you have the main lobby here. They also have a bar, which is called Bar Ventura. And then Urban Pantry. Looks like this is where you'll come if you want to grab some food. There's also a Starbucks located here inside of the hotel. Oh, this is nice. Very, very nice. There's like no line right now. I'm sure in the morning. Yeah, this place is jam packed before people are heading out to the parks for the day. The bar was right there. There's Starbucks, a ton of seating. Look at this. That's the pool. They do have a poolside bar. And this is where you'll come and eat. Looks like they have all kinds of different options. Looks like you can order pizza right there. Sushi, what? You can have fresh sushi. Oh my goodness. I believe right here, which is right next to the sushi location, this is where you'll come and get breakfast in the morning. Looks like most of this is just grab and go. So you have some oatmeal, water, red wine for $28. Oh, they have a souvenir cup, so a refillable mug. Here's the prices. Entire stay, 18, not too bad. Fiji water, they have a s'mores kit for $8. Looks like you have some cake, some cheesecake, milk, Salad, sandwiches, fresh fruit, parfaits, beer, Red Bulls, Powerade, soda, tea, more water, cereal, Pop-Tarts, what are these, granola bars, more fresh fruit, more drinks, even more grab-and-go items. Here's the prices. Ooh, fresh honey, local honey. That's cool. Candy. Then over here you have a warming station with a toaster and a microwave. Here's a quick look at the menu. Looks like they have salads and wraps, sides, beer, wine. Here's the kids menu. Hot dog, grilled cheese, mac and cheese, chicken fingers, $10. And over here, looks like you have the grill hamburgers, they have the Great Beyond, it's a nice vegetarian option, fried chicken wings, oh my goodness, looks like if you order a salad, they make it in front of you, fresh, look at that, ooh, they have fresh rotisserie chickens back there, I love the open kitchen, you have even more seating back here, I love the open windows, Volcano Bay is just right there. Cabana Bay. Here's your drinks. Looks like they have tea, hot chocolate, coffee, and a Coca-Cola freestyle machine. That's where you'll get your milk. Yeah, that's the entrance to Volcano Bay right there. Look how close we are. Oh, no way. They have gelato. Yum. Here's the prices. One scoop, 550. Two scoops, 750. Yeah, we definitely have to come back later. They have bagels and muffins, pastries, more grab and go. And this is the pizza area. So they'll make your pizza 
fresh in the oven right there. Fresh cookies, more beer and wine on tap. Here's a look at the sushi menu. Not too bad. Looks like you can also make your own stir fry for $18. Here's the bar located inside of the main lobby. Here's some beer on tap. We have a TV. And of course they have an outside bar, which we are about to head to now. Also look at this lounge area right here. That'd be a good place to hang out while everybody else is checking in. We just made it outside, but I do want to point out if you need any kind of extra assistance, they have you covered with ramps and everything. All right, so the bar was there, the Starbucks, check-in. Look at this, we're outside. Look how nice this is. Man, there's the bar. Looks like the pool hours are from 9 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. They do have a fire pit set up right here. It's a little windy, I apologize, but check out the pool. You have zero entry, plenty of lounge chairs. There's Cabana Bay. They offer you towels, and then right there, that's where you will return them. They have showers outside. They have more seating over here. You have your restrooms and a hot tub. Yes, I can't wait, my body hurts. I need to go soak in the hot tub later on. Oh, there's a duck in the pool. <laughs> this is such a nice pool. I love the vibe. And look up, look at the view. I love this so much. Let's just take a quick moment to appreciate the architecture of this resort. I'm getting Miami vibes right now. I'm now at the poolside bar. They do have a few Coca-Cola freestyle machines. Wow, they have a pool table. <laughs> I, I'm just, I don't know what to say. I was not expecting this at this hotel. Like we've stayed here before, but it was during opening night of HHN last year and we really didn't enjoy it as much because once we got back to the room, we were tired and we woke up the next morning and left. And then here's the bar. Looks like they have some Frozen pre-made drinks, beer on tap, the poolside bar right there, check-in. We are now at the splash pad for the little ones. You have another shower, and again, this is connected to the main pool. More seating, and here's the splash pad. So the entire family can enjoy the pool area. You have another towel return right there. Ooh, what's over here, more games? Oh yeah, they have a few games. They have air hockey, basketball, more seating. I will say it's a lot more private back in this corner. There has been so many team members and so many of you guys, viewers, who have come up to us just to say hello, telling us you enjoy the videos. I love when you guys come up and say hello. I love meeting you guys. And Brian, the bartender, I was filming. He was like, hey, Dev, and it's just, there's something about when team members and cast members say hello and they watch the channel because you guys really make a difference when we come to theme parks and hotels. So um, I just want to throw that in there. Uh, Brian, we're going to be paying you a visit later. That's so cool. And for dinner, we are going to be heading up to Bar 17 Bistro. They have an express elevator. By the way, there's like so many elevators to choose from. I also really enjoy that the elevator has a touchscreen. We're heading up to level 17 to check out Bar 17 Bistro. This is the express elevator as my ears are popping. <laughs> and here we are. All the way up. Wow, this is nice. Holy cow. Pinch me, this can't be real. So there's the bar. I think you can order food. I hope so. Plenty of seating. Oh my goodness, look at this view. So there's Cabana Bay. And then we can see Volcano Bay. There's the volcano right there. This is awesome. I also really like the breeze up here. They have a TV. Well, these are fun chairs. Here's a way better view of Volcano Bay. I can't wait. We could even see Disney. Yeah, there's Epcot, Hollywood Studios. So I think if we come back up here around 
eight, nine o'clock, we can definitely see the Disney fireworks from here. And there's Icon Park right there, SeaWorld. And they do have food here. Here's a look at the menu. Korean fried chicken wings. They have proteins, veggies. They have a rooftop burger. The prices aren't that bad. Salads, what's on the back here? Oh, here's the drink menu. Looks like over here, you can rent out this space. Right now they're having a private event. So that's something you may want to keep in mind. I just love the views everywhere. We're actually going to come back up here later. There's some restrooms up here also. Here's another view of I-4, Endless Summer. And then hopefully in just a few years, we can see Epic Universe from here, which is just right there. We are now on level two to check out the fitness center. And here we are. We're the only ones in here. They have very nice equipment. Look at these treadmills with the screens. Wow. We will definitely be here in the morning. Towels, a water fountain, bikes, ellipticals. And if you bring your own water bottle, they have you covered. I was just talking with Bianca and I feel like we should just go ahead and get a workout in right now just because this is a very nice gym and it's empty, but we did work out this morning. So we'll just have to come back in the morning before Volcano Bay. The gym is just right there. And then right across, you have restrooms and lockers. Also, what's this V-Hub? I think it's like a reading room, like a quiet room. Okay, well, it looks like it's not for everybody right now because our key was not working, but yeah, they have like a quiet room in there, I think. I'm also noticing a little theme. We are back on the eighth floor, which is the floor we are staying on because I wanted to check out guest laundry and vending. And here we are. It's very nice in here. It smells good. Here's your vending. You have your beverages, sodas, waters, monsters, all your snacks, and you can use your debit and credit cards. Then over here, if you need anything for your laundry, they have you covered. They also have a change machine and here's the washers and dryers looks like they are three dollars each you can use your card if you don't have coins very nice machines here's the view so beautiful they have a little table if you want to fold clothes or do some work they have a TV. All right, let me give you guys a full tour of our room. Okay, you have the elevators right there. We are on the eighth floor, room 834. And here we are. So far, I will say it looks and feels very spacious. And I really like that. And I also like how simple this room looks. But as soon as you walk in, you do have a full length mirror right here. And there's the front door. You have your closet space for your storage. You have a iron, ironing board, extra pillow and blanket, hangers, a luggage stand, all of our stuff. Very nice, quite large. From there, you have a little coffee set up. You have your ice bucket, looks like an extra shelf right there. And then down here, you have your mini refrigerator. Pretty standard. We already have some drinks in there. Moving right along, there's the front door, the closet. Here's your bathroom area. I like how it's split. You also have some privacy right there. Here's your sink, mirror, hello. Some towels, tissue, a skincare bar. And down here you have a hair dryer, some cups extra toilet paper, trash can. You also have some outlets right there. I don't know why this door won't stay open, but here's the other side of your bathroom area. You have your toilet, very nice. Towels, your shower. I love how simple this room is. You have a nice deep tub, some shampoo conditioner, and another skincare bar. You also have the line for your wet clothes. There you go. You have a place to hang your towels. And from your bathroom space, you have your main living area with two queen size beds. 
I will say the beds look very comfortable. Looks like you can't put luggage underneath though. I love the lighting across the headboard. You also have two reading lights. I also really like how at this hotel, you have your own little iPad to control everything. Looks like it has YouTube, Prime Video, Netflix, and Hulu. You can also order room service, chat with team members, any questions, room controls, lights, AC. You control everything through this iPad. Then you have your telephone. Looks like they left us a little hand sanitizer. You have some storage right here. From there, you have your massive window. And then you have a really good sized TV. I just love how sleek this room is. Again, I'm more of a simple person. I don't like over the top. You have some storage down here. Looks like you have three of them. Yes, we did already stop by Starbucks down in the main lobby. You have a little chair, little office space, USB ports, two outlets. I like that a lot. Looks like you have a little speaker with the hotel logo, notepad and pen, extra reading light, your thermostat, extra trash. I also like the floor. Then you have a little chair right here. And here's our view. We can't really see too much. There's the parking garage, of course, the side of the hotel. We can see the Universal Orlando parking garage, a little bit of city walk. Then you have the Doubletree by Hilton and downtown Orlando. Then you have I-4, and we can also see Universal's Endless Summer, Dockside and Surfside, and then Epic Universe is being built right back over here. Pretty nice view, then fun spot right there as well. Oh yeah, we can kind of see a little bit of the pool area, and then right there is the bus stop for Volcano Bay, which Volcano Bay is to the right of us. Also, right here in the center, you do have two outlets and two USB ports. Very nice for charging bedside. I really love this resort. We are really enjoying this place. The value is great. The location is great. The convenience is great. There's so many different food options and drink options. The pool is amazing. But when it comes to food, myself and Bianca, we tend to be pretty indecisive, which is a good thing and a bad thing. I don't know. So I think we're just going to go back upstairs, have dinner, have a few drinks. So let's go eat dinner. I'm very hungry. Just like that, we're back. Yeah, let's sit right here by the window. To start with, I ordered a Moscow Mule and a water. Look at the little Aventura logo right there. It's now dinner time. We are both very excited because we are starving and this looks so good. So I decided to go with the signature bao. I got two pork belly and one beef. And then we also got the Korean fried chicken wings. And the wings were 16 and this was 18. Let's dig in. This was so good. We just made it back to our room from dinner. We really enjoyed that place. I know I really didn't film that much just because number one, it was such an enjoyable time. Number two, it was loud just because everybody was up there, you know, having a good time. It's a rooftop bar. It was pretty windy, so we'll keep that in mind. Everything was good. We really enjoyed the atmosphere. My drink was great. But if I had to pick one thing, I think we really enjoyed the Korean fried chicken wings a little bit more than the bao. The bao was still good, but something about that Korean spice, we really enjoyed that. So yeah, if you're staying here, definitely make at least one trip upstairs to the rooftop bar. I think the game plan now is we're just going to hang out in the room for just a little bit and then we're going to head downstairs and enjoy the hot tub, the jacuzzi outside because the pool is open until 10 p.m. So that's really nice. Probably have another drink, maybe another snack or treat at some point depending on what they have downstairs. Well, I know what they have and they have a lot of really good options. So stay tuned. We still have a lot to do. The night is young. You can watch YouTube here in the room. I put on my Cabana Bay video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it down in the description below. Love that place, but how neat is this? 
and there's Netflix and Hulu and Prime Video. It does look like if you want to watch Netflix, Prime Video, or Hulu, you do have to have your own account and sign in and then you can stream it or cast it to your TV. And for the room controls, you can control the lights. Let's see, desk lamp. Oh yeah, it went off. Go back on. Yes. And then if we go back, you can control the temperature, which we like it cold. We came back downstairs for a quick snack. I'm about to order a fresh pizza. I just picked up my pizza. Now I did ask if they had like a vegan option or like a cauliflower dough option. They did not. So I just ordered, I think it's a kid's pizza. It was only $10. Look at that. That looks good, nice and fresh. And I also got a vitamin water zero calories which is nice and bianca ordered a walk bowl for 18 dollars. it's basically a make your own stir fry we got steak and noodles and some vegetables this looks really good that was really good the pizza was okay but i really enjoyed bianca's stir fry that uh that belongs in the restaurant i would get that again but i do want to note you know because i mentioned the vegan pizza option they do have a veggie burger and they do have tofu and salads those are the only like vegan healthier options i am noticing but i mean it was good I, this is definitely like the best like cafeteria or like just eatery inside of a resort that i've been in like this is so nice so many different options something for everybody so yeah that was a nice like treat we're not going to do dessert we just you know dinner didn't really fill us up that much so this was a nice Way to in the night. Yep. <laughs> they have a nice fire going tonight. This is such a beautiful resort. But before bed, we made another stop down here at the pool. It's a little windy right now, but I will say the water is a very nice temperature. It's not cold at all. It's pretty empty, so we're just gonna take advantage of this nice weather and this emptiness. And the hot tub is right over here, but there's a few people down there now. Whoa, there's like a robot to help assist you. This is great. It's the future right here. Oh, she's like, she's saying something. Awesome, got it? No. Okay, let's try it again. What are we trying? Let's do it. Thank you, I am enjoying my stay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room. See you later. And with that, I think we are going to call it a night here from Universal's Aventura Hotel. I'm impressed with this place so far. I think this just may be Universal's hidden gem. Here's what it looks like outside our window at nighttime. Nothing too much to see, but you do have some city life happening across I-4 right there and International Drive. But I'll see you guys bright and early for breakfast. Well, good morning. I must say, we had a really good sleep last night. I found the bed to be more firm, and we like firmer beds. Like, our bed at home is a firm bed, so that was really nice. We got some really good rest. It was quiet, and I must say, we really enjoyed our view because last night we turned off all the lights, and we opened up the curtains, and we just had a view of the city at night, and... That was kind of nice because like I kind of want to live in downtown Orlando and just have you know like a high rise with like a city view that's like you know a dream of mine so that was really nice um, we really like this room we love this resort we definitely want to stay here again but now we're ready we're not going to head over to Volcano Bay just yet we need to head downstairs we're meeting with a friend and we need to eat breakfast, hopefully grab some Starbucks because we need some coffee. We did purchase premium seating over at Volcano Bay, so I need to stop by the vacation planning booth, pick up that voucher, and then we're gonna be heading over to Volcano Bay. I'm excited. Volcano Bay is going to be a separate video, so make sure you guys come back and check that video out. By the way, we went to the pool last night. There were speakers inside of the pool, so that made for a really nice experience, by the way. 
Okay, let's go eat breakfast. I made it back downstairs to the main lobby. We are going to have some Starbucks this morning, which this is a really nice convenience to have, but I need to stop here at the vacation planning booth to pick up our premium seating for Volcano Bay. I'm back inside the Urban Pantry here inside of the main lobby. They have this all set up for breakfast. Looks like right here. What is this? I see fresh fruit. Maybe you can make your own parfait or something like that. They have some pastries and some donuts right here. But the main breakfast is right here. Let's see what they have. Okay, an all-American breakfast for 13 pancakes and waffles, a breakfast burrito, biscuits and gravy, French toast. They have the kids all-American sides, beverages, and mimosas for $9. Of course, you do have some grab-and-go items as well. I did just find out this is a yogurt station, so you can make your own yogurt with anything you want. Fresh fruit, granola, cereal, raisins. For my breakfast, I chose Starbucks. I got my iced coffee with oat milk and sugar-free vanilla and roasted red pepper egg bites. These are so good. And Bianca made her own yogurt. We got yogurt, strawberries, mangoes, is that it? Raspberries. And raspberries. How much was this? About $9. $9 with my pass holder discount. Not too bad at all. Looks really good. All right, my friends, that's going to do it for today's video. We had such a good stay here at Universal's Aventura Hotel. I highly recommend you guys come check this place out if you guys need a place to stay. If you guys want to be close to Universal and have those Universal perks by staying on property. And we're like maybe 20 minutes away from Disney, so that's something you may want to keep in mind. International Drive is right here. There's also a ton of restaurants and shopping. The Outlet Mall is very close nearby. Um, everything was just superb here. Like the team members were very kind, very nice. I loved the different food options. I loved the pool. I loved the different bars up top and down below. Everything was great. I can't recommend this place enough. And I only paid $131 including taxes and fees to stay here for this trip plus $18 for parking so not bad at all if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because it really does help with the channel in so many different ways thank you for watching i love you all and youtube i will see you in the next video prince charming i am feeling lonely and i want to make it start to end the right they need to slowly for those can lift me up this time You were the only one who got me tripping up inside